Welcome to Virtual Pilot Academy, your passport to the thrilling world of aviation. In this video, we will discuss a topic that has raised concerns and questions over the years. Why Boeing planes crashed so many times. In the early days of aviation, Boeing was a very respected aviation company. Boeing had one rule, quality is priority. Around the late 50s, Boeing dominated the aviation industry, building newer and more efficient planes that were really safe. The factory workers were building the planes with passion, because by that time, if you worked for Boeing, you were very respected. The Boeing pilots were highly trained and one of the best in the world. The people had a saying back then, if isn't Boeing, I'm not going. But unfortunately, all this glory lasted till 4 August 1997 when McDonnell Douglas merged with Boeing. McDonnell Douglas had a very different culture which was more cost-focused and favored upgrading older models at the expense of wholesale innovation became dominant. This shift has been linked to subsequent issues, including the crashes of two 737 MAX jets. After the fusion, Boeing started to lose its reputation that it builded in many years, making the aircrafts a lot cheaper and lower quality than before. Another important factor is that Boeing new 737 MAX is the exact same model as the 737-800, but with larger engines and a longer landing gear. Boeing decided to make the MAX like this so it didn't have to train the pilots for a different aircraft. Now, the old saying, if isn't Boeing, I'm not going, turned in, if is Boeing, I'm not going. Nowadays, Boeing lost the race against Airbus because of the profit-based culture and lower quality planes that crash a lot often. But now, don't worry, the chances of a plane crashing are very, very slim. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.